Hi everybody, my name is Julie. It's Advent Calendar time. Woo! I am doing my Advent Calendar for 2023! No, the clearance calendar don't come back. I just reused the packaging! And I filled all these little drawers with new products for me to try and love and see what I can do with them. So this has 12 in here. Once I finish with 12, I'm gonna put 12 new products in here and give them a good go. These are just random products out of my collection. I actually didn't even just grab new products that I haven't tried before. I just grabbed anything I wanted to use up because my goal is actually to try and use up a bunch of the products in this advent calendar, which is kind of a new and different thing that we're doing. I give myself two weeks, so you see a lot of minis, a lot of small stuff, and things that I'm going to be using kind of throughout the year in here, which is kind of, I think, kind of a fun idea. Isn't that kind of new and different? We'll see what happens. All right, I might regret this later on. But right now, I'm feeling really positive about that. <laughs> um, and since it is day one, I am going to open day one in here. Um, Y'all know, I probably will forget what most of these products are, but I do remember what day one is, and it's actually something that I need. So I pulled out a mini mascara. This is a product that is new to me. I haven't tried this one before. It is the Ilia Mascara. Have you guys tried the Ilia Mascara? Ilia is a brand that sold at Sephora, so it's not one that I have too much exposure to, but my mascara that I've been using is starting to wear out, so I wanted to give this a go. This is the fullest volumizing mascara, and I am actually gonna put this on because I'm not wearing anything today. Oh, that's exactly the type of bristle I like. So this has the hourglass shape, similar to the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. Um, I know this mascara has been sitting a little while, so I gotta mix it up just a little bit here. There we go, that brush looks now full. This is what it looks like after two coats. Pretty good, it is a little bit um, harder to utilize than I thought, but it could be because it's, you know, I just opened it. <laughs> so that's why I give myself two weeks to try it out, see what I think. Um, immediate impressions, pretty darn good. The bristles are not as full as the Better Than Sex Too Faced, even though it kind of looks like that. There is definitely some separation there, so you just have to watch it just a little bit when you put it through your lashes. I also need to watch. I got it all underneath my <laughs> when I did my bottom lashes, so that is something else I'm going to need to watch out for. But I'm going to practice with this brush to come back in two weeks, tell you what I think about it, and then open up my next one. I'm excited to start off with something kind of new, you know, try something new and different and enjoy it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in two weeks. Happy panning. Bye.